Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. Today is Monday, so of course we got the weekend full of sales to go over. I'm gonna show you some pickups that I got recently from a thrift store and some items that I traded into the local bookmans and show you what I got in with that trade. So you know the drill, let's get going. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the sales. We'll do that part first. As always on Monday, I always do my weekend sports card sales over on that card guy. So if you want to check out what sold sports card wise, go over to that card guy, go over there, subscribe, watch the video. I'll try to remember there's a link to the channel down below. There's always a link to the channel. Sometimes I remember to put a link to this actual video. So uh, go check that out, see what sold a pretty good amount of items. I think it was like 12 items for three to $400, somewhere in that range. And that's about what we got. So it was about split down the middle with what sold sports card wise and thrifted goods. So let me bring up my screen here. We'll check it out. Total of 11 items for $13.99. And that's items, shipping tax, all included in that total. We had a couple of really good ones, a couple of really cute ones. We'll do the cute one first. Yeah, we got this guy. Is he a guy? We don't know. Could be a girl. Uh, this is Grogu, known as the child, baby Yoda. Call me whatever you want. Yeah, so this is a build build a bear. Bought this at a thrift store for two dollars and ninety eight cents. Got a floppy ear, and I had someone from Spain contact me, wanting to know if I would send it to them directly versus using the global shipping program because it was going to charge them a ton. We we're trying to get the price down to seventy dollars total for them. That included the shipping, their import fees, everything. So we got it pretty good. I think we got it down to a total of sixty nine fifty for them. For me made it $36.50 plus shipping, $20 shipping. It's not gonna weigh too much. It should be under two pounds once I get it all boxed up. So it's gonna cost right around, I think $19 and change to ship it over to Spain using pirate ship and using their simple export rate. So yeah, we got this one going over here. It's actually got two different sounds. One side plays the Mandalorian theme and then this side plays different sounds and stuff. So it's really cool. Still has the original tag on the back. Yeah, I got it for $3. It plays for a while. So that's number one going out. The cutest, best item I think today as far as total profit percentage. $3 into $36.50. So that's pretty good. We're going to go to my favorite item to sell. We know it. Say it with me. Football helmets. Yeah, I love selling football helmets. I still have like seven out there. I got a list. I got through like five of them. I picked the five best ones and got them all listed. Sold several of them already. This one here, and let me scroll down to wherever it sold on the screen. $39.99. So this is probably about the cheapest that they go for as long as they're mostly complete. Because even this not complete, look, it's missing the, the ear pads inside. It's missing these. This is a shut recruit hybrid. It's one of the more popular ones that you'll find out there. Uh, used a lot to where it's fairly high tech, but it's not the super high tech ones that sell for, you know, 80, 100, 100 dollars plus. But so yeah, check these out. Shut Recruit Hybrid. This one's even scratched up quite a bit. Still got $40 for it. Bought it for $7 or less. All right, next we're going to show you all the toys that I sold. Yeah, I've been listing a bunch of toys. I've been talking about it, about a huge toy lot. So I sold some more out of there as well as a couple other things. First up, actually, this isn't, well, it's from a toy. It's from a Monopoly game. I bought a Harley Davidson game. Had some pieces inside that were damaged. A couple of like the property cards were damaged. They had some moisture damage. So I decided what I would do is piece out the game. Now the game itself to sell it whole, even though it was complete, doesn't sell for over 30. It might go for 20 to $30 for the whole game. Just for the seven tokens, I got $14.99. Yeah, $14.99 just for those. I know a lot of people know you can break apart Monopoly games, especially the tokens and the theme games do sell really well. So check it out. If the game itself doesn't sell for a whole lot or maybe just a few bucks less, it might be easier to ship this than that whole board game of Monopoly. So really good sale. $14.99 on that. When I'm picking up games, I'm buying them for two, three, four dollars each. So always good profit in those. All right. These were from that big haul of toys that I did. If you didn't watch my bonus video over the weekend, you should have. If not, watch it after this one. Uh, three different Spider-Man action figures. So these are like the little five inch figures. I think one's a little bit bigger than the other two, but got uh, $14.99 for these. So yeah, 15 bucks, $5 each. Really good. Like I said, that, that lot's going to produce a lot of money once all is said and done. Again, go watch that toys video if you didn't. And the last, oh no, we got two, two other things here. We got this guy. All right. Do you know who this is? I do. This is Daniel Tiger. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. It says it right there. That's how I knew. But this is just a little plastic wind-up car. I think if you pull them back, 
it goes forward on its own like a pullback toy. This sold for $9.99. I picked it up for a dollar at a thrift store. I'm always picking up cool little toys like this. Dollar to 10. It's not the huge profit items that I like, but when I know it's an item that's going to sell, it has a good sell-through rate, I don't have a problem picking it up. These here. These are jack-in-the-box antenna balls. And these are like from the year 2000. Yeah, I don't know if they've done many promotional antenna balls recently. Most cards don't have antennas anymore. So I doubt they've been doing them. But I bought one big bag that had a lot of them. Put these in one lot. And then I have two other lots for some of the other ones. Uh, just kind of separated them out. You hear me scrolling. This here, there's seven of them. There's Y2K, which is the uh, one here. You'll, you'll probably see them pop up better on his hat. It says 2000. And there's other ones where he has like earmuffs on. Sold for 10 bucks. Yeah, I think I paid $4 for the whole bag. So got $10 for this lot. And I think I have another couple of $10 lots still to go. Okay, the next two items are both hockey items. First up, we got a hockey puck. This is from the 2001 NHL All-Star Game played up in Colorado. So we have the Avalanche logo on it. But you see up here at the top, it's a staff 2001. So they must have made some commemorative pucks for people that worked at the stadium and other things. And it was in one of those random bags of hockey pucks that I find at a thrift store. Sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And the next one is a Miami University hockey hat. And they are the Red Hawks. Miami, I think it's of Ohio, Red Hawks hockey. It's a brand new hat that I picked up at a thrift store not too long ago. I think two weeks ago. Sold pretty quickly. Picked it up for $5, sold for $19.99. Like flips like that, hats are great to sell. They're easy to ship, easy to store. And as long as you're buying the right ones, the sell-through rate's pretty good. So $5 to $20 flip on that one. Uh, I like that. What's next on the list? Jack in the box. We did that. We did that. We did that. Oh, this one's over here. I would have forgot this one. Oops, it's over here. So y'all know who Ken Oberkfell is, right? Yeah, I know. I already you shook your head. Nope, Mike, I have no clue. This is one of his bats. Yeah, I actually found this at a thrift store. You can see it is broken down here on the handle. It's got a crack here and it's missing a big piece on the back. That's what it looks like. We got Ken Oberkfell and it says California Angels. Although what's weird is he was, I think I knew him more as an Atlanta Brave and maybe a St. Louis Cardinal. I'll throw up a picture here. You can see on the end of the bat, it's got his number five on there. So pretty cool item here, but he's just not a real big name player or anything. Pick it up for just a couple dollars because it was being sold as a broken bat at a store. And it sold for $42.49. Yeah, I threw a discount, gave an offer over the weekend. The original had it at $50. $42 for a Ken Oberkfell bat. Pretty, pretty happy about that. I always ship those out in these triangular mailing boxes. It works great for a bat. You put a little stuffing down at the bottom, a little bit up at the top. Ships out great. They don't weigh too much, usually under two pounds. All right, the Olympics are going on. The Winter Olympics, so that brought up some interest in a Summer Olympics. This is an older ticket from 1984. Summer Olympics basketball, unfortunately, it wasn't for Team USA game. Uh, this was Yugoslavia versus Italy. I don't think there are any big name players in that game, but I'm getting $17.99 plus shipping. I think I had it at 20, sent out 10% uh, off and got $17.99 for that. All right, just two more eBay items back here. I think I went past one. This game, Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards. It sounds great. Really cool looking boxes. Check these out. See if I can hold them there so you can see the box is good. Yeah. Great looking boxes. One game was open. Actually, they were both open. One was played. The other one is still all factory sealed inside. So pretty cool. Put the two of them together. I bought them for just a couple dollars a piece. $24.99 plus shipping. So I think I have about $5 into them after all the fees and stuff. You know, you got profit in there of $18 or so. And the last eBay sale here. Don't go yet. We still got plenty more to go over. Is this here? Yeah, this is a castle. This is Cinderella's castle. In Cinderella, oh, sorry. Cinderella's enchanted castle. And this is a Polly Pockets playset. So it opens up and you can play with all your Polly Pocket to toys inside. Now it did have a little damage. You see like right here, it's got the little ball on the spire there. Didn't have one here. The top was a little bit curled up here, but overall pretty good shape since there's so many little pieces and parts on here that could break. Oh yeah, also that little fence was broken a little bit. Still for this as it was with a little bit of breakage, $30 for this little one. Polly Pocket stuff does great, especially these older play sets. So I just sold one the other day. I sold the Aladdin Bazaar, and that was even smaller than this. Maybe I'll throw a pop-up of that one too, because I think I sold it and didn't do a video about it. So uh, I'll show that one as well. I think that one sold for $15, $20, and it was pretty small. Polly Pockets play sets. Definitely keep an eye out for those. All right, that's it for eBay. I did have one Amazon sale. That's back here. 
I think last week. I think I just picked this up last week. I bought three different models at a store. They were in their boutique section, paid $20 each. I think they were $19.98 plus tax. And I went ahead and bought them because I saw they were selling like $60 to $80 each. And this is the first one to sell. We got this helicopter. What is it? It's a Huey Hog by Ravel. And I bet when I box this up, it won't even weigh a pound, so I can still ship it out first class. So yeah, I ended up getting $60 plus shipping for this on Amazon. Usually model kits I sell on Amazon, prices are usually much higher for kits, and there's not very many of them. This one and the other two that I listed, either I was the only one or there was one other one listed. So you can definitely keep your price higher than uh, they are over on eBay. So yeah, 60 bucks for that, pay 20 after all the fees and everything, probably a $25 to $30 profit on that model in particular. Oh yeah, one more little thing before I get on to uh, my pickups from the Bookmans. Had someone contact me over the weekend. They're from a school here in Arizona. They're doing a fundraiser and they were looking at one of my Chicago Cubs sticker items. Yeah, kind of a random item. Asking me if I'd be willing to donate some items to them as they're creating one of the baskets in their fundraiser is gonna be a Chicago themed one. So I had a few little things. I said, sure, I'll go ahead and do it. No big deal. So what they were looking at at first was just these Chicago Cubs stickers like this. So I went, I sell these for a couple dollars each. I have a lot of them. So I figured I would go ahead and throw them a few of these stickers. So we're going to put a few of these stickers in there. And I was looking through, I'm like, what else do I have from Chicago that I can donate? You know, it's, it's a write-off, but honestly, for the price of this stuff, I'm not really even worried about it. If I can help them out a little bit, I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, this year, these are these uh, Walter Payton coasters that I got. So it's got Walter Payton on each of these. I've sold some of them. I thought they would sell a little better, but they haven't been. So I'm going to send them four of these. I've been selling them lots of four like this for $10 shipped, and I got a lot of them. So no problem sending those off. The next item I'm going to send is this Chicago Bulls. I have a lot of glare behind here. Button from the 1997 championship. So that's in there. And then I have a bunch of these baseballs, got the Cubs logo on it from Sloan Park, and that's the spring training facility here in Arizona. So if it helps them out a little bit, I'll throw this in there and uh, send it over to them there in Arizona. So it's only going to cost me a few dollars to ship to them. I'm not worried about that part. So I'm going to get those sent off today as well. All right. So the other day I went over to one of my favorite stores to pick up extra inventory, usually for my antique or my collectibles booth. I need to stop staying antique. I keep doing it. So I uh, took a bunch of stuff over there and usually when I'm taking items there, I'm taking things that either have been in my store forever and haven't sold and might have items that might have a little bit of damage to the packaging, other things that just don't have good sell through rates, whatever the reason, there's a reason why I'm taking them there and not just selling them myself. Maybe they've been in my booth for months and months and haven't sold. So I'm trying to get rid of inventory that hasn't sold, that isn't selling for items that I then can sell. So. That being all explained, I've done this a few times. I'm sure some of you have seen it in the past. Let me show you what I picked up this time. I got, I think, $64 in trade, and I used 40-some dollars of it. So first up here, we got this guy here. You can't see him with all the glare. So this is a green goblin, and this is a bobblehead. You can see this was $8 on the price tag. Let me see if I can take him out of here, because he looks much cooler out of the box. I don't know what happened when I was taking him out of the box. Whoops. Yeah, I dropped him. I'm going to see if I can glue him back together. <laughs> so maybe I wasted that $8 in credit. We'll see. Hopefully I can glue him together and it doesn't look too bad and uh, I can still sell it <laughs> in my booth. All right, let's go to the stuff that hopefully isn't broken now. I did buy a bunch of Funko Pops. So they have a lot there. A lot of times I'm buying loose ones because those are the best bargains. They have them for $4 each and I can sell them for five and $6 and get a little more extra money out of them as well. So first up here, we have Deadpool. Who else did we get? Oh, we got Negan from The Walking Dead. And oh, I'm dropping stuff today. Look at take him out of the plastic bag here and he's got his bat Lucille. I think that was his bat's name, Lucille, right? Who else do we got in here? Oop, that's different. We have one of these Star Wars fighter pilots or TIE fighter pilots, whichever ship he goes. So got that one. And then we also have Daryl Dixon with his crossbow. So we got a couple different Walking Dead guys, a superhero, a Star Wars, so a good mix of those. And I got this guy. I thought he was really cool looking. I know when I was there, I looked him up on Google Lens to figure out what he was, but I can't remember now. So 
Yeah, this is what he looks like. He's like this half horse looking guy. I don't was he from Overwatch or Mass, whatever. I don't know. I looked him up. I just thought he was cool looking. This one was a little more expensive. He was six dollars, and I'll price him at ten in my booth. And just to reiterate, I know you're saying, Mike, you're paying six, you're selling for ten. No, this was trade credit that I got, and I'm always trying to get these items and then even get a little more on top of it. So if I get it for six, I'm hoping to get ten dollars or so, just like those pops I paid for. I want to get five and six dollars and increase the amount of trade that I got. Right, the last two, they're very similar, but I've never seen these before. These are like Halloween themed, also made by Funko, and they're very pop looking, but these are called Boo Hollow. And you can kind of see I'm trying to get it without the glare just right. Actually, if you look at the picture on the side of the box, that's what it looks like. What are their names? Nina and Lucky. So that one's pretty neat. Now, this one was $12. I looked on Amazon. These are selling for like $27. So these actually might get sold on Amazon. I did. I've been gated on Funko brand. But when I put this in, I hit request to sell it. And it actually did approve me. So I don't know if it's just... These Boo Hollows I'll be able to sell, or if it did approve me for all of Funko. So that would be fantastic if that did happen. Here's another one. This is Phineas and Scratch. A little bit bigger set, and I'll show you the side so you can see what it looks like there. But yeah, really cool Halloween-themed Halloween always does well year-round. But definitely, uh, if I have to wait till October before those sell, that's fine too. But uh, should, should hopefully make some money on them, whether it be at my collectibles booth or on Amazon. All right, I think that's it for today. I got to get glue and my Green Goblin guide together. Hit thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're new, and leave me any comments down below. Let me know which one of these items was your favorite. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.